It's calling for an end to racial inequality. County supervisors addressed a handful of recommendations today. The elected leaders say they are committed to reform, but as Steve Price reports, they agree even more work needs to be done. County supervisors met Tuesday to discuss three issues with one purpose to send a message to the entire community that they are serious about making changes to help end racial inequality. Demands of the community are real and that we have it within our power to address their concerns. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher brought the recommendations forward, starting with a plan to stop having law enforcement as the first responders to nonviolent mental health calls. A recent study uh, showed that people with untreated mental illness are 16 times more likely uh, to lose their life during a police encounter uh, than civilians approached or stopped by law enforcement. Last year, 54,000 of the county's 911 calls were for mental health issues. That's about 150 a day. Many elected leaders agree deputies and officers are not the best ones to handle those situations. Police officers are put in situations that are often untenable where a psychology degree is required versus a law enforcement academy. And so I view this as an item that is supportive of community, of law enforcement, and of our vulnerable mental health population. The cost is expected to be at least $10 million, but Supervisor Diane Jacob felt the cost not to do it would be much more with human lives lost. And with that, that motion passes unanimously. The supervisors also addressed the recommendation to create an office of equity and racial justice, giving underserved communities more of a voice. And while they did agree to the idea, the supervisors voted more work needs to be done before it can move forward, asking a human relations commission for input and creating a mission statement. The final recommendation concerned the Citizens Law Enforcement Review Board, which conducts investigations on citizens' complaints of misconduct by sheriff's deputies and probation officers who were employed by the county. Under the recommendation from Supervisor Fletcher, the board will be allowed to investigate any incidents where a peace officer's weapon was fired or force was used causing great bodily injury, even if a complaint wasn't filed. That motion also unanimously passed. At the county administration building, Steve Price, News 8. In the meantime, today, the San Diego City Council passed a resolution declaring its intent to place a measure on the November ballot that would create an independent commission to review police practices. If it's passed by voters, it would dissolve the Community Review Board on police practices and replace it with a commission independent from the mayor and the police department. Commissioners would be appointed by the city council and would investigate all deaths stemming from interactions with police as well as all police shootings. Many community members spoke out in favor of the measure today. I believe mean, it is extremely crucial for officers to be held accountable for their actions because we cannot allow impunity any longer. Thank you. The council will need to vote on the measure again in July before it officially goes on the November ballot.